Hey there, my name is Vadim Shalin. I'm creative director and photographer at Epic Mind Studio, as well as instructor at Photogy.com. Now, today's blog, I wanted to cover a really important thing for beginners, as well as advanced professionals out there. Your portfolio. Why is it so important? It's your calling card. It's what gets your name out there. It's what people will hire you for. At least get your foot in the door. Now, not all of us have a portfolio that's perfect in every subcategory of our specialty. Um, some of us might be great at electronics and maybe not in jewelry. Some of us might be great at liquids, but not necessarily great with cosmetics. How do we get out of that? Well, one of the solutions that we can do is to go ahead and buy the product, borrow the product, and so forth. Now, in today's short little excerpt, I'm going to show you what we did with cosmetics. We ended up with my team going to a local pharmacy and buying a slew of nail polish of different colors, different brands. Um, we bought some main, um, more expensive brands of perfume, um, sorry, of nail polish, and we bought some similar colors in the cheapy section. Like that, we can use some, I guess, hero shots of the main bottles, as well as some similar colors, which don't break the bank. The entire cost of the shoot was $120 for the images that you're about to see. The other thing we wanted to try is to show you guys how it's important to stick with the trends of fashion. Now, all of you know that every season, Pantone, or some of you might know, Pantone comes up with the palette of colors that they recommend or they assume will be the adopted colors for the great fashion houses. This year, You'll see the colors we've chosen. They work in harmony together. They look beautiful. And I think that's important for all of you to do is stick with the trends of the times. Don't pick a color palette or a style from 10, 15 years ago, even if you like the image. People hire you for the trends of today, not for the trends of yesterday. So always try to keep abreast in the field of photography. That's important. So we'll hop behind the, or in front of the TV screen and uh, well, you guys will see some of the pictures we did. And I'll explain to you some of the behind the scenes of what went on. This first image, the puddle of color, came about looking through Pinterest, looking at various boards that my team and I have been collecting over the last year and images that we don't necessarily have in our portfolio and think important to have in, in our showcase. Um, so we came up with a, a slew of images that had a certain feel we were after, after and we decided on creating the composition. Now we had a slew of different bottles from different brands which made a very interesting little combination of, of shapes, colors, playing on geometry and the overall field that we had decided on was a horizontal co composition since our Facebook banner is horizontal, our web page is again horizontal, everything is generally horizontal. So we decided to stay in that shape. And the general gist was we set all the different bottles onto the table and we just started playing around with a different composition, trying to figure out a composition that would look pleasing to the eye. So we'd play, position the camera, take a shot, do we like it, do we not like it, and we just played it for whatever time it took until a pleasant composition came about. Once we were happy with that, we actually took some paper, white paper, put it on the computer screen and just quickly traced out the position of the bottles and then we just drew out how we wanted the little puddles of uh, nail polish. Um, there might have been other ways of doing this, probably taking a, just the photo and just with a Wacom tablet and doing it, we just had the spur of the moment idea of doing it that way, whichever way works, works for you. And the, the main part we wanted to do, since the lighting was going to come from the top left to bottom right, is these puddles of polish had to be to the left of the object. Otherwise, the shadows would be cast on the right side, we wouldn't see the colors as well. So that was part of the, the important thinking process behind this. Now, once we decide more or less the shape, size of our puddles through this drawing, we went ahead and picked up two bottles at a time and one of the team members would pour some nail polish from a, one of the other uh, supplies we had and so, and so on and so forth. We just started putting this whole thing together, putting back the bottles and finally took our shot. The final image was composited in Photoshop. We had, I think, the main image as well as the little uh, cap with the little brush that was added in post with another uh, shot for the uh, lighting on that bottle top uh, itself. 
We edited the colors to, to match more along the lines of that Pantone theme we wanted to go with and uh, clean up the blemishes and that's it. It was a relatively simple shot, though tedious to do and messy. We had to try to contain the pools how we wanted and learn how to work with nail polish, which is a different media for all of us. And uh, that was a scoop on that image. The wall of polish, that was one of our, well, an image I think we would also really like to do. Um, Making these architectural combinations are always pleasurable to do. Um, it's, it's like playing with Legos, I guess. It's a pleasurable feat for my entire staff and I. Um, the behind the scenes of what happened with this one is, I guess we just, we, we only had actually two colors of L'Oreal bottles. We had a bunch of uh, green ones and a bunch of baby blue ones. So we had to actually colorize a lot of the stuff in post-production, but the, the idea here, we set up uh, with some wax how we wanted to structurize this whole image. And once we're happy with it, we re actually we took it apart and rebuilt it on the actual shooting table and decided on the lighting on it. And all the bottles obviously had their caps on while we did it. Now, to take the photos, we had to unscrew every bottle one by one. We started with the bottom left, going to the top then move the bottles off the scene, wiped anything off so there's no color cast being thrown. Then we started doing the same thing on the right. Um, the final shot of the little, again, little paintbrush at the top was done uh, as a last minute thing. And we actually shot all by itself that paintbrush with some added paint on it dripping and we took a whole bunch of shots. So all in all, it was many shots taking many drips and the best drips of every shot we composited together in Photoshop. Um, the background was in the end added uh, in post. Um, I took a nice orange background. I believe it worked pretty nice uh, than just the simple white background. Again, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Not everybody will agree with me. I mean, even on my team, we're not all agreeing on that decision. But sometimes you just go with your gut feeling. I might be wrong. You guys might not like it. I personally like it. I find it fits in that color palette again. Uh, and that's a scoop on that shot. And now for the third shot, the waterfall of color, I call it. That was an image actually I came up with while actually taking a little uh, break at lunchtime. And it just popped in my head saying, wouldn't it be fun to take a shot, a perspective shot from the bottom, just to make the bottles look grandiose, like almost like a wa cascading waterfall of just uh, paint falling down from them. So we shot from a low angle, I believe it was the 100 millimeter lens, not, nothing drastic, but just shooting upwards at it. And we had some paper just pu pouring down with some weights holding it down. So we, we had that nice curvature of the paper. Um, it's a composite of multiple shots. We shot the bottles separately the way we wanted to. We had shot it without the logos actually, and we added the logos in post. Since logos in uh, these cosmetic balls are never placed perfectly, they're all done by machine. And they're always off-centered, a little bit crooked. Um, for the actual paint, we took several shots to composite a few of them. We started with, I believe, the, the middle one, then with, with the left and then right, and so forth to get different combinations. And again, Photoshop came in to composite a whole bunch of them together, get the best droplets of each shot, and uh, stick it all together. We again edited the colors to match the spring-summer collection of Pantone, and that's the shot. I mean, it's... We adjusted the background color, I believe, again. It was shot on a bra uh, gray background. I added a slight tint of blue to it. It just gave it a little bit more life. Uh, I really feel like a cotton candy pastel -y. It's got a really nice vibe, this photo. I truly enjoy it. It's a, seriously, I think all the images we're very happy with. They all have a, a fun, happy, summery feel. Um, and again, that's due to the wonderful selection of colors from Pantone. And, uh, and that's all. Now, f finally, the last s images, these were little studies, I think I'd call them, is when we were done with the main images, and we pretty much called it a day, we were having fun just making droplets. And, and I think that's what you as a photographer should be doing, is it's not just stopping there, just go beyond. Try practicing with the brush. 
make droplets, try to control the droplets. Yes, there's stylists that sometimes are hired on shoots to do these things, but you yourself, be curious, try to see lighting on different types of bubbly surfaces. What happens if you drop enamel? We, we actually were trying to do droplets. We, uh, what, one of my team members was standing t high on a ladder and just dropping bottles of nail polish and it's just gook, gooping onto the, itself and making layers and we were making stacks of it and mixing colors. You never know what you can learn from this and how you can apply it to another shoot. Again, have fun, be creative. So uh, that's the main point. 120 bucks, I think well spent. We had a fun time shooting, a fun time retouching, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Until next time, happy shooting.